Susan, it's so great to run into you here at Houston. I understand this is not your first time on the front row as a winner. No, this is, I am fortunate enough to have been on the front row here four times. This is my fourth time uh, getting one of the top prizes. Not best to show yet, I hope that someday, but uh, this is never a disappointment, <laughs> to put it mildly. It's always a thrill. We would love to know how you store these immaculate quilts. Well, I really don't make them for use. Um, and I don't have a wall large enough for these. And I have cats, so, you know, they're not ever meant to be displayed. I, after they're done with shows, they are just folded in muslin bags and, and, and stored on a shelf in a closet. So not anything special. So what is it like standing on the front row and talking to the audience who are just amazed by your quilts? You know, I really enjoy that. It's a blast uh, standing here and looking out of the crowd and people come around the corner and I go, and it's really fun. Um, I, I really enjoy it. And I kind of look at it as a thank you, something that I can give back to all the crowds and to IQA without which none of this would ever happen. So I really enjoy doing it. Do you do any trunk shows or lectures? Rarely. I really don't travel all that often. Um, I prefer, I'm, I'm kind of a solitary person. I really like most of the time staying at home and sewing and quilting. I have done, I have done teaching and, um, and, and trunk shows, but uh, not a whole lot. I live in a small town far away from an airport, so travel is really, it, it can be, it can be a challenge too, so. Mostly I'm a homebody. So well, we saw you the other night in your beautiful red dress, and you're in your travel gear today. But we noticed, I am. <laughs> we noticed that you have something in your hand, which is a little sample. So tell right. us about that. Okay. This quilt won the Superior Threads, Superior Threads Master Award for Thread Artistry. So um, obviously it's got something to do with a lot of interesting and creative uses of thread. All of the quilt, all of the color on the quilt, except for this blue strip of print fabric is machine embroidery. So even these designs that have some cherry wood appliques in them are, the applique is part of the machine embroidery process. And all the rest of the color on the whole quilt is thread from digitized machine embroidery. I didn't digitize the designs, they're commercially available designs, but it, I designed how it all goes together. It's all thread. The quilting is all free motion hand guided quilting. But the question that I get asked most often is, how did you do that edge? Because it's a blue scalloped edge around the quilt. It is lace. It's machine embroidered lace that I made. It is a special design that is digitized to be stitched on water soluble stabilizer. Now this white stuff is a water soluble stabilizer. There are lots of different brands and they're all pretty similar as far as I can tell. It's done in a hoop because you can't do machine embroidery in, um, in just a, a long row like you could stitch a straight seam. So I've cut these down, but the white stuff is machine, is water soluble stabilizer. And the design has been stitched through two layers in this case of the stabilizer. You can see how these segments are meant to be joined together. These are designs from Zunt Design. I really like their lace designs. And you can see how to join the segments together, I just overlap this edge over that thread edge underneath there. So I'd overlap that, hold it in place with a little glue stick temporarily, and then zigzag over this edge with monofilament to hold my segments together. Now I have a larger hoop, so I'll combine two or three of these segments in a hoop, but at some point, segments have to be joined together. So I will join all of my segments together for the border for the entire quilt while it's still on the stabilizer. Then I will soak away the stabilizer. And it doesn't disappear instantly. I soak it um, a couple of times. I soak it usually a couple of days in, in um, like the, bin of the tub of my washing machine and change the water a few times because I want to get rid of all the stabilizer. I don't want it to be like a bookmark or a Christmas ornament where you might leave the stabilizer in and keep it stiff. I want it nice and flexible. And you can see how soft that is. 
it is just lace. It is truly lace that was made on, on the embroidery machine. And if you know my work, you know that that's almost a trademark of mine, using the uh, freestanding lace on the quilts. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of thread, but it's not difficult to do. <laughs> so um, that is made separately from the quilt, and it's attached to the edge after all the quilting is finished. And um, I'm going to show you the back now so you can see the quilting oh, on you. it. So, wow. There's the quilting oh, on my usual. quilt. You can see um, that's all free motion quilting done by me with a sit down machine. And you can see these designs like along here. The embroidery is done only through the quilt top, but after I embroider the quilt top, sandwich my batting and back with it, and then I quilt, I free motion around all of the embroidery designs with monofilament, um, and Superior Monopoly is great for that, on, uh, in the needle, and that transfers the design to the back, and it also creates the texture on the front, so that the embroidery designs really pop. And it also makes for a really, really pretty back. So, what kind that's of adding my do you quilt. use on the inside? And um, do you have any other questions website. for me right now? Yeah, yeah, could you, you just tell us your website? Yeah. Oh, my website's uh, SusanStewartDesigns.com, and my blog is Susan Stewart Designs WordPress. Well, thanks so much. And you can so see much. the red dress on the WordPress uh, <laughs> blog. <laughs> thanks again so much for sharing all your wonderful talent. And we look forward to seeing you again on the stage at Houston. I hope so. I'm working on a quilt. Maybe it'll be a winner. I don't know. You never know.